This is Optobotomous coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Lion King action figures available only at Walmart of Pumbaa, Timon, and Zazu. Now, uh, Zazu and uh, Timon are just kind of these uh, plastic rubber figures that don't really do much of anything. Puma, on the other hand, actually, he's got an opening and closing mouth, um, which is kind of neat, and he uh, actually has some articulation. Spin around here on the back, you see other figures that are in the line. And Timon and Pumbaa really became the uh, very good friends of Simba. As Simba ran away, they found him and helped to pretty much raise him, becoming his very best of friends, really. And it's it's an absolute beautiful story of a, of a group of people coming together and taking care of one another. It's just a wonderful, wonderful story. Uh, now, I do have a couple problems, obviously, with Zazu. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but uh, he's got a little bit of a paint chip right there. Plus, this is also the second Zazu that we've gotten. The first one came with Mufasa. So uh, this is kind of pointless to have this figure. But you definitely have to get Pomone and... Er, Pomone? Timon and Pumbaa if you want to have a Lion King collection. So uh, let's get these guys open and see exactly how cool they are. Okay, guys, so here we have Timon, Zazu, and Pumbaa open up and out of their packaging. Now, as I said with Zazu, we previously already got a Zazu figure with the release of Mufasa. So this really isn't anything spectacular, um, but you do have to be careful because, as I mentioned, there is a paint chip kind of on here. So be sure when you're uh, looking at these figures to make sure that the paint does look acceptable. Other than that, nothing really spectacular. Like I said, this is a rubberized figure, so you get a little bit of a rubber going here and stuff. And then you got a birdie butthole, which I mentioned in my other ones. All of them have kind of weird little things like that. I don't know why I noticed it, but uh, Timon here also has a little hole there, which I, I don't know. I'm immature and I find it amusing. But Timon is obviously a meerkat, and I absolutely love meerkats. I think they're absolutely adorable. In fact, one of my favorite television shows when I do watch television is Meerkat Manor. Now, one thing that's really kind of interesting is that Timon actually is one of the very few characters in the Lion King movie whose name is not of a Swahili origin. It's actually a Greek name, which means, uh, I think, he who respects, uh, which, which is kind of weird because if you guys remember, he was always kind of a wimpy kind of character uh he, he he ran with into zazu's cage to try to hide from the hyenas um i i i don't know it, it's just with a name like he who respects uh i i i don't know it, it's kind of strange but he's stuck in this pose and again he's kind of rubber so you get a little bit of like movement you don't want to do too much because it is rubber but it's a really nice likeness of timon himself and i'm happy i have it now, there was another version of this, which I never did get, that comes with him flocked, like in the set with a young Simba and Nala. Uh, it comes with Timon and someone else, I don't remember, but they're flocked versions. But I didn't want to pick that one up because I was happy getting this one, and this one's plenty good. Now we come to the wonderfully lovable warthog, Pumbaa. Now, Pumbaa's name means foolish, basically, or to be foolish, or silly, or careless, or neglect, uh, or weak-minded, whatever you want to say, um, and he does feature something that is a little bit different than all the other bigger figures, uh, his mouth opens, and that's it, uh, he, he doesn't have a butthole, which would be very apt for this character, uh, his legs do move forward, they move back, uh, they're not positioned in a bad way, the only thing that does kind of suck is that when you have, I mean, his head is really kind of pointed up, uh, you can kind of go like this and get his head a little bit lower, but then his feet kind of point outward. His tail also kind of rotates, but this is just an absolutely lovable and great looking character, except his eyes look really kind of weird. I don't know if that's coming across very well, but just something about them. Maybe they're too sp spread apart. I, I don't know, but they're just kind of strange. And I, I his mouth, when it when it opens, I, I don't know. It, it kind of looks weird here, I, but in, in his hair disappears into his back but it's it's overall not too bad it's it's definitely nice and you need to have Pomon and Tumba if you're going to have a Lion King collection now this set also retails for a little less than eight dollars and considering you're getting Pumba a Zazu figure and Timon, that's actually not a pretty bad price considering most of the other ones just come with a larger figure and a small figure this one comes with a little bit of a larger figure well really well 
more or less medium sized figure so I guess uh, including two rubber figures isn't too bad but this set is definitely one that again I highly recommend if you are a huge Lion King fan the price isn't too bad and they're definitely characters that as I said need to be in a Lion King collection after all they're the ones who taught us Hakuna Matata so guys please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and until next time this has been Optibotomus I'll talk to you later